biting bugs as we move through spring and into summer. Your chances of getting bit by mosquitoes go way up. That has many Minnesotans looking for new ways to keep them away. Mosquitoes target their victims by the odors and gases that we produce, carbon dioxide, sweat, even smelly feet. Garden centers and nurseries offer a wide variety of floral plants that promise to keep mosquitoes away. Our Derek James looked into the science behind what works and what doesn't. Bug spray seems to be uh, okay deterrent. Just trying to stay active. I feel like if you keep moving, mosquitoes can't get you. Theoretically, you can outrun mosquitoes, but that isn't going to work during dinner on your deck. Many Minnesotans turn to natural alternatives to keep the bloodsuckers away, including plants. But do mosquito repelling plants actually work? We asked Vera Krischek, an entomologist at the University of Minnesota. So Vera, yeah. I went to a garden center. I said, give me something to keep mosquitoes away. And they said, oh, this is the one, a lantana? Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? Comes in all different cultivars. I buy them too, but. Does it help with mosquitoes? No. Believe it or not, when the EPA registers these, they don't register it for efficacy, so it does not have to work. At all. <laughs> At all. The levels in the plants are not high enough for mosquito abatement to make a mosquito fly away. Most of the research touting plants repelling mosquitoes has been conducted with the plant extracts and oils, not the plants themselves. What about the TikTok and YouTube videos where we see people taking plants like lavender or catnip, crushing it up and then applying it directly to their skin? No benefit. You'd probably get a dermatitis and have to go to the hospital because you're itching so badly. Instead, Krischek recommends focusing on removal of standing water. They feed on the bacteria, the crud. So what you think is dirty water that nobody's going to visit, that's their favorite. So a nice clean fountain, mosquito free. An old tire, an old pot with dirt and stuff in it. Ugh, mosquito heaven. To keep mosquitoes from crashing your deck time, smoke them out. Mosquitoes, bees, they get very quiet with smoke. They don't fly. And that is the best way to keep mosquitoes off you on a deck, is to make a little fire that makes smoke and put a fan to move it around. Now, I promise you, there will be no mosquitoes. Do I get the same impact from my grill? Um, a little more smoke than that. A little okay. less fat, a little more smoke. <laughs> so, you so while my lantana here isn't going to protect us from mosquitoes, there are some great benefits. This particular plant attracts butterflies and hummingbirds. So if you have a hummingbird feed or something like this, you know, the, the point she wants to make is these are wonderful plants. It's great to have them. They look great in your yard. But if you're looking for a specific benefit for mosquitoes, not going to happen. Sounds like you're trying to convince yourself you made a good buy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm going to tell my wife when I bring it home tonight. That and can I just grill and get rid of it? Yeah, right. <laughs> that part two. You guys have me figured out here. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. I mean, you can still try the oils, but again, that point that I think a lot of people didn't know that the EPA doesn't require you to show that any of this stuff actually works. So you try to find what works for you. But again, maybe just a box fan is all you need to keep that air moving because the mosquitoes don't want to fight against that wind. It's well, a good idea. They're yeah. lazy. You got a new house plan lazy now. Lazy mosquitoes. <laughs> I like the color you picked. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice one. Well, they picked it for me, but sure, I'll take the credit. <laughs>